Well, hey everyone, how is it going? I am Brian and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to go over today a couple of really cool little inverters that I've been using personally for the last couple of months that are very, very portable and so far have worked great for me in my shop for when I'm testing out specific batteries and for just miscellaneous type tasks that these tiny little inverters are great for. This is not a sponsored video. I bought both of these with my own money and after using them for a few months, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you folks on these two tiny little inverters because they've both performed very very well and they're extremely cheap so if you need a very small 500 watt or less pure sign inverter take a look at this video so both of these inverters you see here are both 500 watts this is the best tech and this is the all way and they're both 500 watt pure sign inverters and like I said again, they both have performed very, very well for what I've put them through. Now, these inverters are not gonna run an air conditioning unit. They're not gonna run a 1500 watt heater or a hair dryer or things like that. So these are perfect for running lights and charging your phone and very small load appliances. But if you can tell how small these things are, you literally can take these things anywhere. And if you've got a battery, you've got AC power. Now this Best Tech comes with two screw-on posts that you're going to connect alligator clips. I've decided to keep the alligator clips on it just because it's easy. You can, of course, replace these with ring terminals and actually semi-permanently attach them to a battery, but I find these are pretty convenient because I just switch them from battery to battery when I'm testing out my batteries. The Allway inverter, on the other hand, comes with alligator clips, but it's got a plug-in adapter. It does not have posts on the back. So to plug in these alligator clips, you simply just plug this into the back. So the only bad thing about this is, is that you can accidentally, you know, pull it out because it is not attached, but it, it fits in there pretty snug and I've never had an issue. And the Allway actually also does come with a 12 volt cigarette style plug that technically you can plug this into your car cigarette port and use this as an inverter. I don't recommend doing that because most car cigarette 12 volt ports, you're gonna blow the fuse if you go over 100, 120 watts. So it's just, it's really easy to blow the fuse in your vehicle if you plug this in using the supplied 12 volt adapter. Cause you can eat, cause this inverter will let you pull up to 500 watts. And if you try something with 500 watts off of this in your car, you're gonna blow the fuse in your car. It is a pain to change fuses in your car depending on where your fuse panel is. But again, I'm gonna run a couple of tests on both of these and show you guys just how well they work. This is one of my uh, very trustworthy 12 volt batteries, the Power Queen. If you guys are interested in this LiPo 4 battery, I'll have a description in the link down below that I put on my other channel, but so far it's just been a great battery. Let me hook, go ahead and hook up the, the Best Tech and run a few tests off of it because I think you guys might be a little surprised. And I always like to use a little resistor before I hook up the positive to these things because you will get a little bit of a spark. And I'm just charging up the capacitors in that inverter for a split second, then I can hook, connect it and there's no spark. So our inverter's hooked up. So this is a 300 watt incandescent little testing setup that I have for my batteries, but you got four 75 watt incandescent bulbs. So I'm gonna plug this thing up to it. and obviously it runs it no problem. So that's 300 watts. I've got another single little tester strand and this is a 100 watt incandescent bulb. You can see it runs that just fine. So this setup right here is 400 watts. On a typical inverter, say a 3000 watt inverter, some of them are really hard to get to the average rated capacity. A 3000 watt inverter might be a 2400 watt actual inverter. This is powering it no fine. The fan is on because it's almost up to its full capacity, but it is powering 400 watts absolutely fine and it'll sit here and do it forever. You can see there is no flickering in the lights. It's not pulsing the power. It's, it's just running them great. Let me hook up my multimeter to one of these ports and show you what's going on. So this does kind of fluctuate the voltage, but it, it's maintaining enough volts to keep this thing running. So it's going from about 106 to 110. Now again, guys, this thing was $65. So it's not going to be a $5,000 inverter that's going to do everything absolutely perfect, but it's running my lights just fine. So if you're in a situation where you've got a 12 volt battery and you wanna run some lights in an emergency, for 65 bucks, this will run incandescent lights if that's all you have laying in your closet. And we all know these incandescent lights take a lot more wattage than LED bulbs. So this is 
labeled as a pure sign inverter and I will tell you it's pretty dirty but I'm not going to be using this thing on a NASA supercomputer so I'm not too worried about if the sine wave is not quite perfect so there is a little bit of dirtiness to it so again don't expect absolutely beautiful perfect sine wave on these little tiny very budget friendly inverters and again the always a little bit different connection so we got to plug in the clamps to the back of it give that thing turned on and we'll start off with the 300 watt array on this which runs it just fine and i'm going to get this other 100 watt bulb and notice there's no flickering there's no dimming and pulsing of these lights um, so the power is constant and this is around again 400 watts that this tiny little inverter is pulling now the all way is 55 dollars on amazon right now the best tech is 65 dollars on amazon right now for 65 bucks or below i think it's great to have either one of these inverters in your shop or in your home if you have a battery in the event you just have to have something really quick to hook up with these battery clips it's just super easy to go up and clamp them on and you can convert DC to AC very, very easily and run most anything. So let me check out the voltage on this all way though. So there we go. There's the voltage on this all way. So this all way actually appears to hold a steadier voltage than the best tech does, but let's check out the sine wave on the all way. And you can see it's just, it's still got a little bit of dirtiness to it, just like the best tech. I'm just, I've been surprised with both of these uh, inverters and they've both done, again, very, they've both done a very good job. Now they do claim that these are 500 with a thousand watt peak. So to test that, this is a 500 watt little mini desk heater. Now I will tell you that it starts off at around 700 watts and slowly ramps down to below 500 watts. Okay, so you can t hopefully tell here watts are at zero. I'm going to turn this on and you see how, can how high this, this heater will do on its initial startup. And it cuts off. And it will not run a 500 watt heater. Neither, neither unit will. It'll get over 500 watts for a split second, but as soon as you maintain anything over 500 watts, these little inverters will power themselves off. So don't expect to run anything over 500 watts, but this stays above 500 watts for too long and the inverter does not like it. So it's very comfortable running around 400 to 450 watts continuously, but again, anything to that 500 and above mark, it's really gonna cut itself off. But again, the price that you're paying for these little tiny inverters, I think it's a pretty good idea to maybe just pick up one or, or even two of them if you find them on sale and just keep them in a cabinet or out in your garage or something in an emergency. They're just great to have and they work. And again, I've had both of these units for about two months and I have put them through their paces because I review a lot of batteries and I, and I initially test my batteries with a little setup like an incandescent light bulb just to make sure everything's working well. And I like to use these because they typically require less power just to keep themselves running than a big 3000 watt inverter does. So for less than 65 bucks, either one of these little guys, I think are pretty good. It's not 100% perfect clear sine wave. The 1000 watt peak is iffy. It'll, it'll get there for about a split second, but anything longer than that, and it's gonna cut itself off. But if you need to run anything from one watt to 450 watts, I think these are absolutely perfect for that so guys that was just a really quick little video i had no intentions of really showing these but i've been using them so much lately and i've been so happy with them i just wanted to show you guys how i use them and my opinion on them because i think that they're good little inverters guys with that take care and we'll see you next time see ya